Hey, what's up, Street Dogs? The Eric from the Eric from Street Photography Blog. So, today I want to talk to you about how you can market and brand yourself as a photographer. So, realize as a modern photographer, to succeed in today's digital world and today's fragmented landscape, you must stand out, you must be you, and you must know how to brand yourself. So, generally, the word branding, I don't really like it because you think about like, you, know, you brand cattle, you take that little hot poker and you, push, you put it on somebody's back. But, I think that it's kind of a useful concept because it detaches our ego from ourselves and our photos and we think of ourselves as a brand, not a photographers. So first and foremost, my suggestion is one, be you. Be unabashedly you. Don't feel apologetic for you being you. And the more raw, unfiltered, opinionated, interesting, non-boring you are, the better. Two. In terms of branding yourself, think about what kind of unique angle, how can you sell yourself, what makes you stand out from the crowd, what's your angle as a photographer, pun intended. So for example, I think I'm able to thrive and brand myself as a photographer because I focus on open source photography, releasing lots of informational tools to empower other photographers, and also ultimately I'm branded as a street photographer because Street photography is my ultimate passion, my ultimate hobby, and it's something that brings me the most joy and excitement in life. And when I started off to brand myself, I focused on a very small niche, and that's another se secret to success as a modern photographer is, when you're starting off, don't be too general, start very, very small. So if I started off Eric Kim, just a photographer, and I just tried to choose like landscapes, bugs, cappuccinos, I wouldn't have succeeded. Rather, I focused on my tiny niche, which was street photography, and really focused on street photography for about five to six years, and then essentially I became the, the king of the streets, and was able to master my craft, and now I'm thinking about more expanding my roots, thinking about doing more photography entrepreneurship, just general photography in general. So, think about how can you, how can you become a small, uh, a big fish in a small pond. So what I mean by that is think about what kind of niche or even what sub niche you want. So for example, let's say you're really into street photography and you want to stand out as a street photographer. So don't just do street photography, be a sub niche, which means maybe you're known for your black and white street photography, your black and white film street photography, your color street photography, maybe you're an iPhone street photographer, or maybe you're a digital medium format photographer, or maybe you know, you do street style. This is actually kind of cool is that like people aren't just shooting street photos anymore, but they're shooting street style. Or maybe, I don't know, uh, you could cross pollinate and think about other forms of art that interest you. So, you know, street architecture, you know, essentially it's, it's whatever definition you make for yourself, make sure it's something that you're personally interested in, something that you're passionate about. And also in terms of marketing and branding yourself, I would actually say, probably the best way to brand yourself is for you to choose a certain color that you like. I mean, this is such a simple thing, but you know, I like this like nice little crimson red. So whenever now people see this really bold red color, they think of Eric Kim and I put it on my Twitter, Instagram, or I put on my Twitter, I deleted my Instagram so that doesn't exist anymore. I put on my YouTube, put on my Facebook and make your own website, keep it simple, keep it you. And my practical suggestions is Try to be and to brand yourself as a personal photographer. Um, keep one singular image. What I mean to say that is that the the best the the best compliment I get is when people meet me in real life. They say, "Oh, Eric, you're just like you are on YouTube." And I'm thinking, "Hmm, don't you mean my YouTube is exactly who I am in real life?" What I mean to say by that is, don't be fake, don't be fake, don't be front, uh, don't front, meaning. Be the same person you are regardless of what situation you are. So, you know, I like to curse in real life and, you know, I'm not a, you know, sometimes I'm very arrogant, very egocentric, sometimes I'm very nice, very open-ended, and ultimately I love people. And the way I blog, the way I make videos, I try to just be one Eric Kim. So don't think of, of yourself, don't be like a two-faced, don't be like, you know, Batman supervillain. Think of how can you be more raw and unedited. So perhaps if you curse in real life, you should actually curse in front of your mother because I think that's more authentic. And ultimately, uh, to sum up everything, the one secret to success as uh, a photographer and to brand yourself is just to be authentic, be genuine, be you. 
and ultimately only you could determine whether you're authentic and you're real and just don't make shit up just be you be unabashedly you have confidence and obviously if you're you people might love you or hate you for who you are but at least you're being authentic you're being genuine and ultimately to build a true following it's better to have people really really love you or really really hate you so leave a comment below tell me why you really really hate Eric Kim or why you really like me so thanks so much for watching guys uh, for more information on how you could learn how to be a modern photographer how to market brand yourself check the link below uh, hapticindustries.com to go to the store I'll include a link to the book modern photographer practical tools and tips and strategies and tactics for you to thrive as a modern photographer thanks a lot for watching guys peace out